Well, then it's sometimes a sign that uh, maybe you've uh, mistyped the word or uh, maybe it, uh, the usage of it isn't correct too, okay? So, all right, after this line, you're gonna jump down here and uh, before you, this end, okay, you're gonna write at property and then in parentheses non-atomic retain and then you're just gonna paste whatever you had in here for the most part okay again few exceptions to that rule so far that I've found and uh, uh, do you want me to explain this this line because <laughs> Generally, we end up just doing the same thing over and over again for all these different types of properties that we set up here. And I've kind of gotten to the point of not even thinking about what the what these things actually mean in here. Okay, um, so if you want to if you want to go kind of brainless like me, <laughs> more power to you. I think it's probably okay. Otherwise, uh, I believe what's happening here is that we're setting up a property. We're, we're actually setting up a method for accessing the properties of the UI segmented control. Uh, my only note that I have for non-atomic, and because when I was, I was learning all this stuff, I was kind of jotting down notes. The note was, generally things are gonna be non-atomic. <laughs> okay, I believe that comes from one of the books I have on my shelf over here. And then uh, retain, that gets into kind of memory management speak. Uh, you might see it written somewhere. If you retain something, then eventually you're gonna to wanna to release it. Uh, I did kind of overdo do it personally with um, uh, my projects retaining and releasing things because uh, at least in the game that I created I was pretty much using everything all the time and I wasn't finding a need to release anything for example like this uh, segment to control you know it was going to be in a I used some in a preferences file, like so setting up the preferences for the app. You'd click, you know, one or two or three or four, you know, and um, that that wasn't going to need to get wiped out or, or taken away at any point because you know throughout the game you could always have gone back and, and played with the preferences. So it didn't make any sense to like release that segmented control at any point because there was always the possibility of using it again. Uh, and I, I would say just starting off, um, you know. The, don't worry too much about the memory management. You're going to see plenty about it in uh, things that you look up online, in the Apple Docs, uh, in books that you read. So you're you're going to get a taste of it eventually. People talking about it, and um, you know it is something that you have to consider. But don't don't go nuts thinking about it right now. Okay. Again, we want to stay positive. We, you just want to work here. Okay. So don't you know nitty gritty. All right. I'm going to flip now over to the implementation file okay so again I've been in the header file that's dot H implementation there the M sound in there that's uh, the dot M and you guys can at any time see that I'm in this uh, implementation file because it should look different from this one number one this one stays stays kind of simple you know with just lines like this one and lines like this one uh, another way of checking though dot M dot M um, one thing that might confuse you though is that there's a really great hotkey uh, if you hold down option and the apple key and then uh, press the up arrow you're going to switch back and forth between your header and your implementation file uh, what could get confusing is that you'll notice when i switch it's not actually selecting um, this one right here you're not going back and forth like that so you know if i, I i'm going to try my best to manually use the mouse to select those guys but I might slip up, so just take note of that. Okay, um, I have already gone and uncommented the stars that were around um, view did load here, uh, but there are uh, multiple options for kind of getting things started once you flip over here to this implementation file. Uh, this code in view did load is going to get run when the <laughs> drum roll view loads up okay the view did load all right and your other options here are uh, if you were gonna run some code uh, without using a nib file okay now of course we obviously are using that that uh, nib file okay remember it's the guy that we double clicked and put this thing in here so that one we don't we can just kind of ignore let's actually just go ahead and get rid of it and then um, this right here is let's see override it 
before the view is loaded. Okay, so th this could be like if there are some variables that we want to set up uh, before um, this uh, view ever came into play, all right? And I think I might have actually used that at a couple points in the game that I made, but let's go ahead and um, just leave those commented out for right now. And actually, you know what? Having a lot of code like this um, taken up kind of visual real estate for you guys is, is probably not that cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually select a bunch of lines I could delete it. Uh, another option would be to go over here and just kind of fold it up like that. Okay. And uh, we still need to actually uh, finish setting up our, our segment control there. So I need to write at synthesize. And again, this kind of just continues on setting up the properties for this um, or kind of like officially declaring the properties for this thing that we're going to be using. And again now at this point I just write back out the uh, instance variable name so if you remember I wrote my segment for that so back over here I'm gonna write synthesize my segment and um, for future things that we put down here we could um, comma separate them like let's say the next thing is my image okay I could write it like that uh, you can also just start a new line and write synthesize like so uh, what I've been doing um, with my latest project is trying to keep things way more organized than I did before. So like I might put a uh, comment, some lines here and write buttons and segments. Okay. And then down here, write images and, and then synthesize though, those, uh, what I found I was doing is I had a lot of things. I had a lot of variables and a lot of properties and, or whatever, a lot of objects. And so I was just kind of like writing them all, all the way out, you know, like, way past what I'm screen capturing here and then starting a new line and there was really kind of like no rhyme or reason and that's something I'd like to encourage you guys to avoid doing you know set things up to be really pretty all right so we've actually um, set up this this segment now and we need to go over to interface builder and uh, make it so that uh, this object knows that it is my segment okay and to do that, let's click on it. Uh, let's go over here to Tools, Inspector. Uh, there's a much nicer way to getting uh, your inspector window open. You can uh, hold down the Apple key, again, that's the key next to the space bar, and hit uh, one, two, three, four. And that you can see that's just cycling through uh, the tabs that are inside of the, uh, the inspector window here. Uh, you're gonna spend a lot of time uh, probably in tab number one here, uh, which is, a lot of the just kind of default properties for it. Uh, you can do some pretty cool things with um, just these segments. Like I, I really like the style of the bar like that. So it gets a, it's a little bit more low key. Uh, you can also tint it too. So let's make it kind of like black like that. That's nice. And uh, some of the properties inside of here, um, like the alpha property, we can, um, um, set using very simple uh, uh, dot syntax uh, in our um, implementation file. For example, let me just write it real quick. Quick, uh, my segment dot alpha equals one. Oops, equals one. All right, the range here would be like zero to one. So uh, 0 0.5 would be at 50%. All right, uh, let's, well, we can go ahead and leave that. And uh, we still actually haven't uh, set this up, but um, you're going to do that over in, uh, you know what, I'm sorry, actually, we're, we're not going to do it in this window. Let's do it in uh, the document window. So move that out of the way. Sorry, I guess I got ahead of myself there. Um, unfold the view and actually if you're not already in this mode of seeing these guys you might be over here like this uh, I would definitely recommend you just leave it in this mode okay and what we want to do is hold down the control key and then drag from files owner down to uh, the segmented control, okay, which is this guy on stage. In fact, you know, you can actually go with either one of these. You can go find it through here and ooh, I, well, release in a second or you can uh, go and click it on stage um, generally I just go through the list view and 
Okay, so I'm going to let go of it finally. And if you've set up everything properly, then you should see an outlet. Okay, remember that IB outlet that we wrote? Uh, and it should have the name there. OK, 